Hey there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be reviewing a house uh, of uh, by Killian, a niche house, expensive, luxurious house. I have reviewed quite a few fragrances, but I hardly own any. So big thanks goes to my brothers, friends who lend me their perfumes. And big thanks also goes to Fragrance BD who have given me so many samples and I reviewed from the bottles by borrowing them. Fragrance BD is one of the biggest outlets, uh, online platform for fragrances, those who want to buy in Bangladesh. Uh, I'll leave a link below of their page where you can buy this. This is a brand new fragrance almost to, to their page. They haven't uploaded it uh, in their site yet, but I actually managed to get hold of this one when he had a meetup last time. Okay, so Shubhai came. Tanzi Shubhai is the owner. Also Pantobai, these two brothers are owners. So we had a meetup a few days back and he brought some fragrances for me to try and I have few more that I borrowed from them. Okay, so this fragrance is going to be I don't have a full packaging in the boxes with him because he just brought the bottle but i have reviewed one red bottle like this before so this is that fragrance this is called uh, a kiss from a kiss from a rose by by killian okay i always get confused is it by by killian or just by killian <laughs> uh, because i think the name brand name is by killian so they have hennessy you know they make i think the drinks and stuff and they also have perfumes and they make fragrances for celebrities as well like rihanna i think has, has her own line and by Killian, I have quite a few fragrances which are favorite of mine. Only reason I do not get so many bottles from this house is that their prices are very high. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Obviously, the presentation, if you see, you'll understand. Very stunning presentation. But on most part, prices are high and the bottles are 50 ml. Okay. So I usually buy 100 ml bottles because I am also a practical buyer. So that's not a debate. This is not a fault of the company. Different fragrances have different houses, have different policies. Like say Nafsumato. Nafsumato has 30 ml bottles, extra day perfume, but how long you can use that? So anyway, that's a debate for another day. So I reviewed uh, Rolling in Love. Uh, that was uh, my most favorite by Killian till date uh, after Angel Share. And those two are like top spot contenders. Let's see how good this one is. I actually, obviously, it's good, right? That's why I took it. I smelled it. I did not like get blown away, but I really love the, what the by Killian did with this. Let me tell you. Uh, and it has a lot of reviews check it out so i can show you the box this is the bottle red bottle you can see through the bottle and the side it has by killian's uh, this signature you can see from the back the juice is moving okay it's a nice red painted i think the juice color is not red it's just transparent okay um the cap it's golden okay yeah golden with the signature and uh, there's a metal plate right in front the cap it when you take it out it's heavy it's metal with the gold paint okay and then atomize is black if you're scared for fakes and it will also have that uh, this will also have their signature so i think base you get the sticker and stuff what's the juice color it's like yellowish <laughs> so i have it pre-sprayed on the paper and let's spray this once more just a tad bit to talk about this one okay sprayers are always great this fragrance i believe costs like 300 dollars around or within First of all, performance. By Killian, you guys know most of their fragrances, the darker ones, the fresher ones, the sweeter ones, rose-based ones, they all last. They all last decent time. The darker ones really last a long time. These red ones, the previous one that I reviewed, most people complain rolling in love is not a strong perfume. They, perhaps I, I suspect because what happened with my bottle, I always get long lasting performance from that one. But at times you get nose blind to it and people when they tell you like they can smell your fragrance and it's really beautiful that time I know I still have it on. So this one also is the same case. This is even stronger than Rolling in Love. Longevity is very good. But I would suggest get, a, uh, official, get an official sample or if your friend has it or any shop has it, if they have a tested, try it on your skin. You may not get the same results like me. Okay. And this one, sorry, by the, by the way, blotters are given by Fragrantica Bangladesh. These are luxury perfumes uh, they sent me, I think, or Fragrantica Bangladesh. Thanks so much for the blotters. I really enjoy these. These are helpful for my work. So performance, projection, good projector. First two hours, very strong projection, but the initial one hour, it's really beast. Okay, so you can smell the fragrance when someone sprays it. Whole house can smell it, basically. Okay, and quality of this fragrance, I'll tell you one by one. So what do I get from it? First of all, I get this fragrance will not be everybody's cup of tea okay 
when I smell it, first thing I smelled was green. Okay, and the second thing I smelled, it reminded me of one fragrance which I have at the back, which is called Synthetic Jungle. So if I love Synthetic Jungle, I would love this. This is not the same, by the way. Uh, they both came out in the same year, I think, in 2021. But uh, this fragrance has top notes, green notes, black currant. Mill notes are rose, may rose, special may rose, jasmine samba. And base notes are cypriol or nargamota and uh, <clears throat> white musk, okay? Relatively simpler nose breakdown. If you see some of the other reviewers, they also break it down, broke it down nicely. So my two cents on this fragrance is it's acquired taste, okay? This one definitely you can see it's a rose dominant perfume and definitely there's greenness in it. First thing I smelled was green jasmine, you know? So there's a jasmine samba. I got something very fruity. I didn't know it was black currant at that time, but it felt like there's some sort of peach or some sort of fruit, some sort of berries. And side by side, there is a green note. What is the green note you may ask? Is it a leafy green, grassy green? No, it's just a green note. It's something smells like watery green. Okay, so something maybe imagine like a flower or some leaves floating on uh, water. You get that watery greenness from it. And it's a very nicely done fragrance. Like let's say I don't like all roses. I'm not a very big fan of rose because rose is very challenging for me. It's one of the most challenging to my nose. And I do not like roses on ice. Did not work with me. Same company, right? Um, maybe I should give it another try, but I just did not feel the vibe with, you know. This one, I could get down with this one, yeah, because I love Synthetic Jungle. And you know my love for Synthetic Jungle. That one has a uh, jungle vibe. It's a greenness. It has this uh, florals. It's for women, perhaps. Maybe, I don't know. This one also perhaps for women or unisex. I don't know. But it smells like, it will smell better on women than men. You know, this is what I feel. I wear it, I feel pretty, <laughs> you know. But I don't find like a right time to wear this apart from spring. When the flowers bloom, when everything is just fresh. Ra rains once in a while, our spring is going on. I don't know, it's a rainy season going on. If it rains, this fragrance is amazing. It's like, goes with that nature-like uh, vibe. You know, nice breeze going on. And there's no, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> There's no uh, heat and humidity. You can wait in heat and humidity, but I feel it will be a little bit much for high heat. If you have air conditioning going on, beautiful. This one, mild cold weather, really, uh, this one will shine. You know, that's my humble opinion, but you can do whatever you like. How many sprays? I would not go more than two, okay? Then it will ruin the experience. If you spray like bathe in it, you can finish the bottle, no problem. But this is one fragrance I would say, keep, keep for special occasion. Uh, reserve it for dating purpose, anniversary, and not because of Bikelian only, I'm saying that. But uh, if you ask me to um, criticize a little bit, because you have to balance it out, right? This is a fragrance I would not say every, for everybody. This one, if you love Aventus for her, this one has vibes of it. Instead of pineapple, they have black currant, this, which was also in the Aventus, but this is not an Aventus for her inspired fragrance, okay? So if you're not a big fan of florals, you will not like it. If you do not like green notes, you will not like it. If you do not like that fragrances have a little bit of powdery, uh, soft effect that are a little bit feminine, people might say this is not the most butch or masculine fragrance out there. So these are some things and the price tag definitely doesn't make it easy. Even if you go for a tester, if you can find one, it's going to cost you money. It's not going to be cheap. It's going to be over. It's like around $200 for tester is my best guess, but not cheap. Bikelian is not cheap. Would I recommend this to everybody? I would say it's a try, not a must buy, first of all, <clears throat> because uh, you may end up with an expensive buy. And what's going to happen is if you do not like the fragrance, uh, it will be very hard for you uh, to accept that fact that you spend so much money on a fragrance. You did not perhaps uh, appreciate. But if you like the description I gave you, you can give it a try. If you had to blind buy one, do taste, take the risk, check out Fragrantica, check out people's comment. And it, again, if you can manage a sample, try sampling this. It's, it's worth definitely sampling. And it gets like uh, interesting in the dry down, you know, that rose, jasmine, you know, these are their florals. So I would suggest this for women highly. It will, it will smell beautiful on your wife, not for me. I mean, for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, early morning, I'm a little bit naughty, you know. Uh, but uh, it's like if you are a dude, if you want to give her a wedding, uh, <laughs> wedding gift, you can give it on her. You can follow her central everywhere. I'm not going to follow her centrally. <laughs> What's wrong with me, man? Seriously, I think I'm coffee high, you know, caffeine high. So overall, this perfume is very beautiful. Thank you so much, Shubhavai. Um, overall, longevity and projection, I'm very satisfied with it. I would give 10 for longevity projection. I'll give 8.5. Uh, versatility, it's very good. Eight, you can say eight, almost everywhere, all occasion you can wear it. But 
for guys do not wear this when you're gonna meet your friends like say tennis session golf session um guys might not uh, feel the vibe with it. this is not a sporty perfume okay so do not reserve it for sport or gym overall this fragrance the quality i really like it i'll give it overall nine out of ten very high quality juice and um, very nice sam uh, smell and the bottle is very stunning uh, additional mark i was gonna give it like eight okay but for the beauty of the bottle one additional mark so check it out this is called a kiss from the rose or kiss from a rose a kiss from a rose yes and let me get the name right this is not my most favored by killian like moonlight in heaven okay some of the other ones rolling in love or something in the line with angel share or apple brandy those are my more favorite because i like sweet gourmand like this one has the gourmand aspect but it's more rose and jasmine dominant so check it out 9 out of 10 for a kiss from a rose beautiful perfume thank you so much shuva bhai for your uh, bottle courtesy and frag fragrance bd as well nice fragrance Be beautiful uh, mouth watering black currant there thank you very much for watching time for a third review take care